Today on Salty Beaver Explorers, we're checking out a turtle festival. We're here at White Lake, which is probably one of the Shushwap's best kept secrets. It is beautiful, clear water in this lake. And I did a previous video and you will see that here. And definitely check it out because it is a beautiful area. And today we're gonna go check out the Turtle Festival. The Western Painted Turtle is the only native freshwater turtle in British Columbia. The turtle lives in wetlands, ponds, or similar small bodies of water for hiding and foraging adjacent to upland areas with dry, light, textured soils for nesting. This makes White Lake an ideal habitat for this endangered species. Western Painted Turtles are on the BC government's blue list, meaning that they are at risk due to ongoing loss of habitat. They are only found in select areas of the province, and the turtles are already marked on the red list as endangered on the coast and on Vancouver Island. After a long winter under the ice, adult and juvenile turtles emerge from a type of hibernation to look for important basking sites, logs or floating vegetation. The sun generates warmth, a prerequisite to feeding. Adults are largely vegetarian, but foods can also include worms, tadpoles, insects and snails. Turtles can't swallow dry food and so eat under the water. Female turtles nest from May to July, and this is the time that they are the most vulnerable to traffic and predators. Nesting females scan the shoreline for predators before leaving the safety of the lake and making the journey across land, and sometimes roads, to find suitable nesting habitat. She will choose a site with coarse sand or gravel and good sun exposure. She'll first urinate in the soil to soften it up before digging the nest with her back legs. Once the hole is approximately 30 centimeters deep, she'll deposit 6 to 18 oval eggs. She then covers the eggs and packs down the soil. Western painted turtles have a smooth rounded carapace, which is the upper shell that is olive green to black in color with red markings on the sides. The belly is called the plastron and it is usually bright orange or red with a large irregular abstract design as unique as a fingerprint. <laughs> Seen better days. Yeah. 
So what does the turtle patrol do? Well, we just walk around when the turtles start to come up. Okay. And if we see a car, car and we see one on the road, stop. You hold that up? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Here are some signs that you'll see around White Lake, so drive accordingly. Road traffic is a common cause of turtle deaths. Here are some ways that you can help preserve the local population of western painted turtles. From May to July, when turtles are nesting, please slow down and watch out for turtles on the road. If you see a turtle crossing the road, keep your distance and alert other traffic, but don't pick it up as it will drop its water and will have to go back to the lake to start over again. If you see a turtle nesting on your property, don't disturb her. Hatchlings are difficult to see while driving due to their size. If a baby turtle is helped off the road, please immediately release it at the nearest shoreline. Be aware of sites in your yard that may provide nesting habitat and try to leave them undisturbed. Remember, it is illegal to keep native turtles as pets, and pet turtles should never be released into the wild. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the Western Painted Turtle and the first annual White Lake Turtle Festival. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave us a message and consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.